All right, well, this is the daily routine of uh, Monsieur Robert. This sweet little dog right here spends his entire life outside. I swear he does. I actually got that dog from Afghanistan as a puppy. His name is Musa, means Moses. I didn't name him. <clears throat> but, you know what I do need to do? Step number two for the day after he goes and sits outside for basically all day is find my flip flop because I guarantee you, my other dog, who's a, uh, he's an interesting one, he's hidden it somewhere. 100%. I would probably bet a, if I had a million dollars in the bank, I would bet a million dollars. Watch, let's see here. We're looking for one flip flop. Guaranteed it's somewhere in the living room. I mean, here, here's here's evidence of one shoe. It's one shoe. It's in here, I know it is. So there you know where my other flip flops at? No. Oh, there's, there's the perpetrator right there. Look at him. What are you doing under there, huh? Oh, look, there's a flip flop. I knew it. He's got it. He's such a weird dog. I would show you what my wife's doing, but she's breastfeeding right now. I don't think YouTube wants to see that. No. All right. After I get my flip flop back on, we'll. Uh... All right. So here's here's another thing we're doing for the day. It's really fun. I'm gonna take these guys back here, Musa. Musa, see them? Yeah, the back of my truck's apparently really dirty. Get to take them to the the vet. They're gonna stay the night while I fish this tournament. Cause I do not want to deal with dogs. So, all right, let's get to doing that. Well, that was interesting. Apparently one of my dogs was so scared that he decided to pee all over the floor right when I get in there. And by the floor, I mean my leg, the floor, side of the couch thing just I'm surprised it didn't get on the ceiling to be honest with you not a clue how that happened but now it's time to go back get the rods all prepped throw in the truck get the baby in the truck drive over to East Texas so we can get uh, prepped and ready for this tournament in the morning so we had to make a quick pit stop on the way over to East Texas at Academy I'm with the old lady and this beautiful little girl. We're gonna go in here and get some rod socks and who knows what else I come out with. All right, so now we're in the aisle. Let's see here. I wonder if they even have rod socks. I don't think we're on the right aisle. Who the heck are the rod socks? I know they got them somewhere. Someone's trying to steal something. We'll go back. I'll come back to you guys when I find the rod socks. Found them. The pink ones are cheaper than the green ones. That makes any. What I care what color it is. Standard casting rod. Let's take a look. Which one should I get? I'm just gonna buy five of the cheapest ones. This color doesn't matter. All right, so we made it out to the middle of nowhere to my mom's house. Brought the mom mobile. Cause my wife is with me, and so is my daughter. I got all my stuff though. So the last thing I'm going to do before the end of the day, I'm going to tie on all the stuff that I'll have on tomorrow so I don't have to waste any time doing that. Um, here in a second I'll show you guys what I'm tying on and then we'll go from there. So here we go. Alright guys, I'm out here at my mom's like I was telling you. Way out in East Texas. I'm still like an hour and some change away from the lake, but it's better than being three and a half. 
<clears throat> I just got done setting up all my rods, retying, making sure there's no frays on the line. I got lipless crank set up. I got a uh, Texas rigs, weightless, also set up a drop shot, a jig, of course, a spook set up for the morning. Um, I'm thinking 15 pounds is probably going to be pretty good uh, set of five, pretty good stringer uh, for this tournament. I'm hoping to get between, I would like to be pretty happy with between 12 and 20 pounds. If I can get in between there, I'd be very happy. I'm sure I told Jake already in a text today I need him to catch a 10 pounder so we can just call it quits and be good. So, <clears throat> alright guys, so the next video you're going to see is actually of the tournament. Hope you guys enjoyed this. It's just living. You just hung out with me all day. So, all right, guys. Till next time, I'll see you. And twitch it a couple times. That's gonna cause the reaction strike you're looking for, like in this video. Once it hits it or sucks it in, either either or, you want to make sure it has a good. It's in its mouth really well, and then slam that hook in the roof of its mouth. Just set the hook as hard as you can and start cranking it in.